advisors, if you want to be a financial manager, you know they're not allowed to hire white people without board permission, yet they can hire Hispanic people and black people as much as they want. Do you know that United Airlines wants to double the amount of Hispanic and black pilots and try to hire less white pilots? You're right, you and I have it different. And currently, the current regime and status quo is making it easier for you. You have privilege. What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today you guys, we are back again with a new video. Today we're going to check out Smug College Students Attempts to Prove Charlie Rugg. Okay, let's get right into this video. How the heck can you come to a state like Arizona, live here, and Tucson, when we had, and say there's no such thing as white privilege or racism, when there's been not one, but two laws that have been de deemed racist by a federal, law, uh, federal lawyer in the past 11 years. And here's the law. I, I know you go after people, man, and I got my facts. Buckle up. All right, cool. Can you prepare? <laughs> it sounds All right. very confident. So in 2003, Tucson Unified School District created a program called Mexican American Studies. You know what it is? Sounds pretty self-evident. Uh, it's, it's, it's critical race theory we are against. Okay. So in 2000, it was made to close the achievement gap for Latino students, for European American students. Tucson has 75% Latino students. In 2007, we caught up. This is right around the time where Tom Horn, the state superintendent, saw this. He called these races, he called these classes racist, teaching the overthrow of the government. They were, they, he lied and said they were segregating these schools, segregating the students. But here's the thing, he never went to a class. And he tried three different times in 2007, 2008, 2009, and by 2010, Governor Jan Bruce signed the law that banned these classes. The only reason why he saw this is because he saw that Latinos were catching up. In 2000, in 2000, all right. In 2017, a federal uh, judge deemed that the law was racist, and that his whole point of view was racist, and it it was a 14th Amendment that was wrong for us. He deemed these classes that were racist the whole time. So I want to know, how can you come here and tell me there's no such thing as white privilege and no such thing as racism? Easily. There's no such thing as white privilege or racism. So. <laughs> but there's racism, but it's not institutional. I mean, so, so are you saying the judge was wrong? Of are course. I mean, your judges so, could be wrong all the time without specific knowledge of what you're talking about with that. But here's the most obvious way I could debunk what you're saying, which is you assume Jan Brewer signed it because she hates Latino people. Is that right? It came out that she has. It's been proven. Hold on a second. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What evidence do you have that Jan Brewer hates Latino people? If you go watch the documentary about Raza Studies. What? It's been, go, go watch this. Go watch the documentary it's called Raza Studies. It's about Mexican-American studies. Oh, oh, La Raza Studies? Raza Studies. Okay. Well, yeah, not, not exactly well-versed in that, but... What's wrong with that? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. Okay. It sounds interesting. Um, but I suppose the question is... Would, Jan, would there be another expl explanation for Jan Brewer doing that? Or are you going to blame She signed another law called SB 1070. So what about SB 1070? What's wrong? Do you know what SB 1070 is? Tell me what it is. It's basically a law for an officer to pull me over and ask for my papers. When well, I've never even been to Mexico. Okay, well, I think people should be asked for their papers regardless of the skin Okay, color. so who, So then we go. Here's white privilege. Why is who, that white privilege? Okay, here we I, go. I, uh, how is that white privilege? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Who are yeah. they going to ask for their papers, me or you? I get asked for papers all the time no, when I get don't. pulled over. Yeah, you I, get, I can show you my pile of Do you get asked tickets. to prove that you're a citizen of the United States? Hold, hold on a second. First of all, I get asked for my driver's license all the time when I get pulled over. In fact, every time I get pulled over, I get asked for my driver's you're license, okay? So, but here, here's the one thing. Hold on. I, I, do you really think that you're, you're being pulled over just because of the color of your skin? Dude, it's happened many times. Hey, guess what? You're I get pulled wait, over wait, too. Wait, you're wait. never, you're never going to know it because you don't look like me, man. Wait, hold you're on. You're never going to have to so, know my struggles. Wait, so, I mean, th th this is the problem. I'm just going to give you a piece of advice. Honestly, you complimented me and Candace Owens. You're looking at the world as a victim. Okay, you're looking at the world as if there's systemic racism and the evil white man that's trying to crush you. It's a lie. It's a lie that is designed to keep you down. It's a lie that is designed to try and disempower you. And I, white people get pulled over all the time to be asked for their papers. And if a non-citizen does not have their papers, they should be deported from this country if they do not have their papers. 
So please go ahead. All right, before you start saying I'm playing that victim thing, I'm never going to call myself a victim, but I'm not blind to the fact that my journey is going to be different than someone that doesn't look like me. You're right. So you know how it's going to be Hold different? On. It's going to be easier for you. It's because affirmative action laws benefit people of color above white applicants to certain universities. In Texas, if you try to get Regeneron or monoclonal antibodies, the specific position of the Texas Health and Human Services is we only give Regeneron to Hispanic and black people and not to white people. At State Street Capital Advisors, if you want to be a financial manager, you know they're not allowed to hire white people without board permission, yet they can hire Hispanic people and black people as much as they want. Do you know that United Airlines wants to double the amount of Hispanic and black pilots and try to hire less white pilots? You're right, you and I have it different. And currently, the current regime and status quo is making it easier for you. You have privilege. I love how you turn it around after I threw facts at you. You're telling to go backwards like this, but the facts is it's there. The yeah. facts is that these laws that you say that were good. I never, been, said, they, I never said they were good. First are they good all, laws? Said, you're, you're, wait, you're turning it around. I, I said they you're very turning, well could have been repealed for around. other reasons than racism. But I am saying this, that you're saying that it's a more difficult journey. I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying right now in America, you have every opportunity. In fact, it's even more than that. You have preference as a person of color. It's easier for you to succeed than your white counterpart in this room right now. You are given a hand up. You are given discrimination in your favor right now. I, I that's, that's 100 percent not true, bro. It's that BS that you'd be teaching right now. Hmm. Thanks for being here tonight. Appreciate it. All right, enough. I, I don't know who she's saying. All right, thank you. Next question, appreciate it. And, and let me just say this is the final thing. I encourage you to really think deeply and say, why do I, why, th th thanks for coming. I, I encourage you to ask this, is like, you say that the journey will be different regardless of skin color. And I, how about this, for our Latino conservatives here, do you, do you, do you like when you hear stuff like this? He doesn't like, and, and by the way, I just encourage, and he's darker, so he's, he, yeah. And so, by the way, can you come up? Can you come up to the line? Go, go to the line. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to ask our friend, our volunteer, our turning point. Can, can, what's your name? Daniel. Daniel. Daniel Fuentes. Da Daniel Fuentes. <laughs> Daniel. Our journey's different. Does skin color matter? Our journeys are not different, bro, because like you say, you know, we're one united under God. You know, I have been pulled over by cops many times. Most 99%, 0.9% of the times, these cops have treated me in the nicest ways. Cops that are probably look nothing like me. Um, you know, every single turning point event that I have been to, um, where obviously I could tell all of my Caucasian brothers and sisters they have treated me in the nicest of ways. It has always been always whites kind of on the left that have always mistreated me. I've gotten more mistreat from whites on the left than on the right for being a Latino conservative. God bless you and thank you, Dan. Thank you both. Appreciate it. We'll get to the next question. Thank you. We'll go to the next question. Thank you. Let's go, Brandon. Okay, this was interesting to watch. Uh, okay, uh, white privilege, uh, people keep on saying, mostly black people. Okay, now I'm seeing a Latino person saying there's something called white privilege. Because they are asking you about your driver license, it's out of curiosity. They pull out everyone for their driver license. It's the, it's, it's the, it's MC is the office, it's the, it's the cop's right to do that. Is what they stand for. Like, they have to check and ask for a driver license. Aside your skin color, someone with your skin color can also be a bad person. So they have to verify to see, okay, you are, you, you have papers are right and you are good to go. Irrespective of your skin color. You understand? So if, if you use that narrative that you are being treated badly because of your skin color every single time, it, it will really truly affect you. You won't see anything good in, in the white person, white privilege. If anything is to happen for a white person, say yes, it's because of that privilege. No. 
It's because of the dedication and the hard work they're putting into anything that they do. You also have the chance to become whosoever you want to become. America is a place of different languages, different diversity, different people coming in. So them pulling you over and checking for your, your papers means nothing but to you. It's to verify that you are there legally. A lot of immigrants who are there illegally. Okay, white guy posts a video that and say the child almost the same thing I said, and they have 1 million views. And I post, and I have like 20,000 views. I won't come and say, this guy, this white guy have white privilege, that's why he have a million views. No. There is a, there is a reason why people like his content different from mine. You understand? It's not because of his skin color. It's because of what he said. You don't, you don't put it like that, that the white privilege, white people like him more than me. No. So if anyone come about to say about this race, I know racism exists. No one is going to argue that racism exists. But in the terms of white privilege, that whites are being favored more than the black or more than the Latinos, no. Everyone is being treated equally. You understand? So it's, it's beautiful to watch this video. If you are also to go to, um, let me say, black community, you will say some black are being treated more than this other black. That's what people are going to say. Why are you treating this person different from mine? It is human terms to always use that. You are treating this person more than why you are treating me. Why? There is something the other person did that you are not doing. It's not because of the skin color. I keep on saying it's not always because, it's not because of the skin color. <sighs> so guys, comment down below. Uh, the guy was prepared. The Latino guy was prepared for war. They came, he came there with research and facts. It was like Ch Charlie is turning the table around. He's, he's twisting it. That is not what he's twisting it for him. Now he's making it look like the Latino are, are the favorable side. The, you are you have been at the favorable side. You are just you just choose not to see it because you feel like there is white privilege and um, they won't treat you the same way. So you tend to limit yourself. So comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all